uh, visual communication design is a broader term, and in my view, is uh, has as a name the um, organization of the flux of communication in society. Uh, when we come down to information design, then it has more precise boundaries and it's related to making information accessible, readable, memorable and usable. And for that it has to adapt itself to the needs and possibilities of the users in question. We cannot have broad uh, scope uh, definitions of how to do it well. How to do it well uh, centers on understanding the cognitive and perceptual capacities and the intentions and uh, histories of the users. I have worked on uh, the administration of hospitals uh, in the sense of uh, support materials like uh, hospital forms and uh, technical communication that goes to doctors and uh, the communication patient, doctor, doctor, patient, doctor, nurse, etc. And uh, it is quite clear that uh, if the communication is well organized, there's a lot of savings, savings in, times, in time of the workers, savings in, in risks of mistakes, uh, savings in general well-being of the people who use the organization. Uh, if an organization does not take care of the efficiency of the internal communications, it will collapse under its own complexity. It's extremely expensive. So the question is if uh, design can contribute to the happiness of people. Yes, I, I believe it, it can. The, the point is that without an efficient organization of the communication flow within an organization, uh, the system collapses because the number of mistakes, the numbers of number of corrections, the number of uh, disorientations on the part of the users uh, become a significant amount of time that reduces productivity of the people. I, I am pretty sure it's true because uh, the, the sensation of understanding an environment provides us with pleasure. It's, it's the same that happens when one looks at a work of art. If one looks at a work of art that is well organized, that one understands the language, then one enjoys it. If one doesn't understand the language, then one rejects it. Uh, in daily life, uh, the number of situations that one uh, confronts in the modern society uh, is very large. And uh, if one can flow through them uh, with ease, then that provides uh, one a sensation of success, a sensation of relaxation. Life becomes easier and therefore happier. There are many uh, sectors in, in society where communication is crucial. Uh, one can start by the military. Uh, if communication is not clear there, we have a disaster. Uh, let's go down a notch and talk about industrial safety. Uh, workers in, uh, in industry have to be properly trained and properly informed about the manipulation of anything that they come in touch with. If we go to the health systems, it's extremely sensitive to, uh, to mistakes, in, uh, particularly in what has to do with uh, the administration of pharmaceutical drugs. So uh, there are many areas that have to do with health and safety, let alone education and the efficiency of instructions uh, in any field that one can imagine.